Man, I hit it right on 7 o'clock this morning, didn't I? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Hey, look, I even have a new graphic for that. Check that out. Hey, we're going to talk about fear this morning. I, I so we've, you know, we've kind of been dancing around this topic all week. We're going to get to it here on Free Coaching Friday, what you really should be afraid of. Let me do a little bit of setup before we get there and uh, start out by saying thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Whether you're watching live or on the replay, please, please leave me a comment. Just let me know that you are here. Say hi. Give me a thumbs up. Whatever it is that works for you, uh, let me know that you are here. Yesterday, I had a chance to pre-record an episode of the radio show with Dan Green. Oh, that was good stuff. So big thanks to Dan for doing that with me. Um, you can see that over on the Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs Facebook page, just talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Uh, the video is already up there. The audio, the, the radio show will go out in a couple of weeks. Um, so that was awesome. Last night, I had the opportunity to be out, out at Redstone Federal Credit Union with, and uh, serve on a uh, small business, what is it called? Here, I've got my worksheet for it right here small business startup panel answering some questions with some other really smart folks fantastic turnout for that uh, really great questions and um, just super fun time so lots of stuff going on yesterday but uh, man a lot of fun and a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff so uh, wow well y'all we just jumping right in there good morning Jeremy Keith Eric Joe all of you, thank you so much for being here. So this morning, I want to kind of put a bow on what we've been talking about this week and talk about what we should be afraid of. I've talked a lot about, you know, how to not be distracted, how to not let the fear derail you from what you're trying to achieve. What should you be afraid of? And yesterday's show went so great with the quote. And actually, as, as I was doing my reading this morning, I came across this quote and so I'm going to share another quote with you this morning this one's from Francis Chan if you don't know who he is look him up Google Francis Chan good stuff all kinds of good stuff that he puts out but this is one of my favorite quotes ever our greatest fear should not be a failure but of succeeding at things that don't really matter now context we'll talk about it might be a little bit different than his context but the message is the same you know, as I was talking with this group of um, current and aspiring business owners last night at the panel, they had lots of questions. And I, one of the themes that I kept hearing in the question was, um, was distraction, right? I'm really worried about getting the website perfect. I'm really worried about having the perfect location. I'm really worried about being able to get QuickBooks to hook up to my bank account. And they're so worried about these little details, right, that, that they're missing the big picture. Even when we were talking about how do you get started, that was one of the questions. How do I get started? I had some great answers and feedback from the panel on that. And I actually I think everybody on the panel participated in answering that. And all of the items were good. Good checklist of items to get started. And then I chimed in at the very end and said, all of that is perfect. And I put one thing ahead of that. And that's to make sure that there's a market for whatever your product or service is. All of that stuff that you're doing, all of that busy work, that's a bad word for it. It's not all busy work. But all of that stuff that you're doing, is useless, worthless, meaningless if you don't have a customer to buy your product. Right? So we got so distracted with the minutia, with the detail, that we lost sight of the big picture. Right? So as we have been talking about really now for the last two weeks about creating results, right? One of the first things that I encourage uh, everybody to do is they're looking to create results. In fact, the very first thing is to get really super clear on what it is you're trying to create and why. 
What is the outcome that you want to see, and why do you want it? One of the questions from the group last night was, how long does it really take to build a successful business? And I said, well, oh, it depends on what you call successful. And they all kind of laughed, and I'm like, no, really, it really does. I mean, and, and so the moderator said, well, okay, how long does it really take to build a business that's profitable? And I'm like, well, again, right? If you take all of your revenue and subtract out all of your expenses and you have a dollar left over, you're profitable. But you're not living on that dollar, right? But but on the surface, everybody would say, yes, that's what I want. It's a profitable business. No, right? You want a profitable business that pays you a- enough to live off of. That's really, you know, the real answer. So... Get really clear on what you want and why you want it. And that, that becomes what you focus on. That's what you pursue as your success. And remember, you know, the, the last thing I'll reference from last night. Actually, I got to read this question because it was so great. Uh, and how best to. How best can a business plan be retrofit to what you are actually doing? (laughs) Is that a great question or what? I wrote this business plan, but now I'm really doing something else. So how can I retrofit this business plan to fit what I'm really doing? First of all, that's just life, right? Your plan is just that. It's a plan. You'll always wind up doing something different. But to think... and, and. and we didn't get enough, never enough time, but I didn't get enough time to really dig into that with this particular attendee. But I, you know, my question would be why? Why do you want that business plan to be retrofit? If you, if you want to do that because I need help running the business, I need a, I need a game plan for the business, then great. If you're just writing another business plan so you can go to the bank or an investor and get money, you know, terrible idea. But those those things happen. Life changes. But if we have, and, and markets change, customers change, you'll get a new competitor. Say you, you, you spent, like Dan, who was on the show with me yesterday, six years building your business, developing product, developing distribution channel, and now all of a sudden one of the big players comes in and drops a line of products that directly competes with you. It can be deflating, right? But if you maintain, if you keep your eye on the prize, why you started doing this in the first place, and be really clear on what it is you're trying to do, that's what you can pursue, and you can do that without fear of accomplishing things that don't really matter. All right, let's take a look at the comments here for a minute. Good morning, Vicky. Good morning, Joanna. Thank both. Of you. Thanks to both of you for joining. Uh, yeah, profitable, profitable business you want to live from. Yep, definitely. You must also be profitable to maintain your lifestyle. Yep, yep, that's it. That's exactly it. All right. I hope something that we've talked about this week has been helpful. Now, if you, if it has and you think you would like to dig a little deeper into this topic, I want to encourage you to go to the website, tomrigsby.com. Look up in the top right hand corner. I hope that's right hand for you. <laughs> Video's backwards sometimes. Go look in the top right hand corner for the Take 5 logo, or not Take 5, Fast 5 logo. Fast 5 logo, click on that, you go to a page that tell you all about the Fast 5 program. That is the latest and greatest uh, from my camera that talks about the five steps that you need to take to begin creating results today. Doesn't matter if the results are on a project, on a business, in your life. Same five steps. It's about an hour's worth of video. Comes with worksheets, and uh, will help you begin creating those results. It is Friday. That means no. Vi-